Well, good morning. Um, my name is Mike Pickett. Uh, as Gar mentioned, I'm a member of the vestry, and I'm also serving as a junior warden, which I think Gar did a did something with Apple Maps to figure out who was in between Home Depot and the church, and that's how I was selected. But <laughs> anyway, um, so my wife and I uh, and our kids joined St. Thomas back in around 2007, 2008. Um, you know, the, the journey was really about just trying to find a place where we could get our spiritual nourishment that we that we needed for our kids, especially as they were coming up through the formative years of, of school. They are now uh, off on their own trying to adult, just like the rest of us on a weekly basis, you know, and perfectly as, as it is, but uh, they're, do they're doing a great job. So um, I really put a lot of, uh, you know, just a lot of thanks into the, um, the support and the foundation that they were given as being members of St. Thomas. They were growing up and, and continue to come back. Um, you know, this summer, uh, I, I know that, uh, you know, we went to one service, and we had the vestry come together and start cooking meals and that kind of thing. And as we were going through that whole process, the thing that really, that really hit me, uh, the first couple of weeks, it was like, oh, my word, we got seven more weeks of this to go. But then after that, uh, it quickly shifted because of the friendships that we started to make in, in between the vestry members and, and how, in, how enjoyable it was. And, you know, it just hit me when the kids left, you know, they were in, they were in sports and that kind of stuff, and you have your friend group because you're with them every week. And then all of a sudden they're gone and you're like, okay, now what? You know, and, and so where's this, where's this gonna happen? And, and St. Thomas has really been the answer for that for us. Um, I think in the sense that, again, we get involved with, with a lot of things. We get to meet a lot of people, be it our neighborhood group or be it uh, the things that we've done through the vestry or the different, uh, the different um, things that we've been able to do and, and, and really appreciate that. Well, while we were doing the vestry th or doing the cooking thing, we, we realized, you know, I mean, we should have known it, but what a gem we absolutely have with the, with the kitchen in there. And so um, we were thinking, you know, we probably could do a better job taking care of this. And so we came in one Saturday morning, I put together a little work group, and we came in and we were, and we were working on cleaning the kitchen. And it was interesting because we had some people, a prayer shawl group was here doing their thing, you know, so that they could help the community. And then pretty soon the altar guild ladies came in and they were talking to us. And you realize that they're around the church doing all the things they do to, uh, to make our, our experiences so wonderful throughout the, throughout the year. And, um, and then uh, we had uh, a fellow vestry member, uh, uh, Jane Wiggins, who came in, and she, was, and she brought in the flowers, and she was starting to put in the flowers. And I was talking to her about, I said, how, how did you start this? And she says, they just needed help. She says, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know that I agree with that. but. Uh, <laughs> You know, but, but she, you know, she says, but people started helping me, and so now I just kind of try and figure it out. And, and you know, it, it reminded me back in, in uh, my, early, my early years with, uh, uh, with my work, where we were setting up a room and doing all kinds of things for, for people to fly in from the home office and then leave. And, and my boss said to me at one point in time, you never, see Frank, you never see Frank Sinatra move his own piano. You know, and, and the whole thing was all the background work that goes on to make a successful, uh, a successful thing um, come off. And, and, that, and that's really what we are, right? We're, we're the group that, that, is, that uh, is that background group to carry on, to carry on the message of God to the, to the communities and that kind of stuff. And we have so many opportunities. And so I'm so excited for, you know, two weeks from now we have the, we have the financial thing. I don't think that goes unbeknownst to everybody out here that running an organization like St. Thomas or a or an institution like St. Thomas doesn't take some financial, some financial assist, uh, assistance, but then the following week we've got the stewardship. Um, um, you know, we've got the fair, where we're going to bring up all of our ministries and give you an opportunity to to consider that. You know, it's really around the, the whole idea that uh, many hands make light work because, again, just like uh, just like in so many cases, uh, there's organizations out there or portions of our church that that just need just need people to kind of help out, and this is our opportunity to do that. So, um, you know, as, as Jane was talking about uh, the thing that she really didn't know what, I, what she was doing, um, another thing kind of hit me. Um, Mother Kelly, for whatever reason, asked me a couple of years ago if I would help out with the youth group. And I said, she says, think about it. And so I thought about it for a couple of weeks. She says, well, what do you think? I said, yeah, I'll do it. So we get together with the kids, and, you know, we're... We're just sitting down, having a good time, and Linda says, my wife says, oh, and your dad's helping with the youth group. And we have that awkward five to seven second look of the two kids at each other, and they said, oh, that ought to go well. So, 
<laughs> so far, it's been fine, but it, it, is, it, it is a different thing. Probably not my wheelhouse if I were to say that at the time, but you know what? If I wasn't there, it wouldn't have happened. And I don't think there's anybody here that doesn't think that the youth group in this, in this organization is a key component to, to the things that we do. Uh, so, so um, again, we've got a lot of things that happen at St. Thomas. It's really, really important to me uh, that we have that. Uh, it, was, uh, it was January this year where, you know, we were sitting there and, and uh, there comes these times in your life that are just so impactful for you with regards to your spirituality. And, uh, and this particular light, uh, time was when my brother and sister and I were sitting there. We were, we were in the final, uh, final days of our mother's life. And... Um, you know, you're taking one of those big withdrawals from your bank account, your spirituality bank account. But we've got opportunities throughout the year to make those deposits. And that's why this time of year is so important to me. Um, 2024, year, 2024 is going to be the best year ever for St. Thomas. Um, we've got a choice of what we're going to do, and we, and we take this choice on every year. That choice is simply, are we going to stay the status quo and become complacent, or are we going to level up and go to the, and go to the next level? And I know with the, um, you know, with the consideration and, and the contributions of, of uh, you know, the members of this church, we're going to have a fantastic 2024. So thank you.